Hello, we are in Carlingford. We're here for a hike because we're here for a hike. I'm having a green tea. She's having, what did you have? A mocha. A mocha. I was attacked by a wasp, so. She was also attacked by a wasp. She doesn't like wasps. But I caught it, but she's a vegetarian, so I couldn't kill it. We're just being mad, mad girls climbing up log piles. The echo of the wood though when you walk along is very satisfying. It's a nice sound and it's also um, kind of piss and rain, but it's nice. Yeah, like it's actually, we're in Spain. <laughs> just weird. <laughs> <laughs> that away. <laughs> It's for the mallet. <laughs> and you're watching Disney Channel. <laughs> <laughs> you're watching DCU TV. Uh, I didn't have Disney Channel as a child. So. I still don't. I've never had Disney Channel. Yeah, I feel a bit deprived. Mm, same. It's fine. We were educated on good old fashioned Irish TV. We used to watch was um, George Judy and then The Weakest Link at my childminder. <laughs> we didn't actually have any toys, so we used to play with them. Um, stick. <laughs> <laughs> My childhood woes. <laughs> oh my god, somebody's coming up. <gasps> Don't worry. <laughs> <laughs> the sun Hi, is shining. Kind of. Not really. Anyway, this is, um, picnic vlog. Last one, brother. Water! Uh. <laughs> oh, that would have been better if you dropped it. Do it higher. Oh, you're too much skilled. So I was flipping my um, phone for the camera, and just as she stopped filming, I dropped it and it slid down the hill, and it got a little bit. I'm saying mud to make myself feel better in the cracks, <laughs> so I'm scooping it out with a stick. The sheep are fucking up. I'm scared. I don't like it. <laughs> so, we just... Oh my god, did he just put his head back oh through the fence? Oh my god, fucking done it again, the big dunce. Why did I have to take him out again? So basically there's all these sheep behind us over there. Um and we had stopped to take photos. Um and yeah, basically all the sheep started coming up to us and getting really angry and aggressive. So we started to move on and then we had heard the sheep crying for like an hour. When we came along the trail, it turns out there was a sheep with its head caught in the fence and it was like panicking. So we came up to help it, but we gave it enough of a fright that it just kind of got its head out so we continued on now just look back and it's it's head is back in the fence again so yep yeah. <laughs> oh what is this it's what is the deal i mean but it was like freaking out when it had its head in the fence last time and now it's just it's just doing it for the laugh okay now he's walking away Oh shit, it's oh, wool. Really jammed in there. <laughs> Ginger sheep. Can we appreciate as well how like seeing the distance it's sunny and then <laughs> that rain is coming towards us. And the big dunce is right there. Yeah. I'm doing it for the vlog.
was a sheep getting its head oh my caught God. in a fence. Since then, oh no, you, we, we climbed a fence, you got that, we climbed a fence, and we took photos, and the storm started. Well, it looked like a storm, but when it came down on us, it wasn't that bad. Let me finish the rest of the hike, and we just chit-chatted, and then we came down here, and we've been walking around, and we got chips. I'm fine. She's designated driver, so she's not drinking. Well. Wait, wait, get that sponsorship in. Rock, sure. Um, hashtag I not spons, on my uh, Hashtag gifted by my pocket. Well, my purse. And um, so this could be the moment in the making. This could be the start of something new, as Troy and Gabriella once sang. Um, you guys might be seeing history because I'm about to click register for Love Island 2020. <laughs> she says eating a spice pack. <laughs> it's curry chips. My bad. Processing. Oh. oh, never mind. I have to keep going. It's not done. <laughs> Anticlimactic. <laughs> okay, yes, this next shot is incredibly blurry, but I thought it was too funny not to include it. So we're going to look at it anyway. <laughs> wait, show me, show me, show me. I don't even know what that is. <laughs> it's an email saying, Welcome to Love Island Series 6. <laughs> this is so blurry. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. But I just had a feeling that today Connor came back from... Back Hello, vlog. So, I'm gonna have to get used to doing this. I mean, it's only my second day, so I'm not used to it yet. I actually haven't got to film anything yet today. I've been bold. I've just been at home. Um, I'll probably give you guys... An update when I get back to my house. <laughs> so, I am currently walking down Griffith Avenue to my skate den because I've got to get camping supplies because I'm going off to Cork tomorrow to camp until Sunday. So, I'll probably give you guys a little look at my den when I get there. Hello and welcome to my skate den. This is the hall. Um, I've spent almost 13 years of my life here. Once upon a time, that second one said my name, but um, <laughs> due to a storm, it doesn't really do anymore. Um, my name's definitely somewhere on that. I've spent many, many, many hours of my life here. <laughs> not that that's a complaint, because it's not. This is our storeroom, and the smell of this room makes me think of summertime, because I've spent many days of summer in here <laughs> preparing for camps. Hello, it is Wednesday now, um, so yes, I am going to Cork today for a camp, a scout camp, so I'll be in Cork from today until Sunday, so I'm packing at the minute because I'm leaving in like supposed to be leaving in two hours, supposed to be getting a lift in two hours, but I might get the train because some of my clothes might not be dry in time. So I don't know. It's kind of it. Oh, also this isn't my bedroom. This is my sister's bedroom. The lighting is better. The lighting in my room is shit. Also, my bedroom's a mess right now, so I'd rather you didn't see it, but yep. That's my update, y'all. <laughs> Oh my god. Our cheese are evil. I don't know. 
Hello and welcome back to the vlog. I haven't given you an update in quite some time. Um, so I guess I'll give you a quick rundown on what has been going on in my life that has been caught on camera. Yesterday, I gave you guys a little update while I was in my house and I was packing. I didn't get a lift or two, I stayed at home, let my clothes dry. I packed and so my mom dropped me to Houston and I got the train to Cork at 6 um, and then I got picked up by my mom's friend and we stopped off at Burger King so I could pick up some food and then he drove me out here and then when I got here I couldn't really film because it was dark but also I had my rucksack and everything with me because I couldn't find um, the other leader who had my tent turns out he had actually pitched up for me but I didn't know and he wasn't answering his phone so I was just kind of wandering around with my gear until I found my friends and I had my food and then just kind of chilled until eventually I found out that my tent that's it there behind me uh, was actually pitched so I threw my stuff in and then I just spent the rest of the evening chilling about so I got I think I saw we went into Ballancolig as that's the closest town and um, so that was Father Dave. Shout out to Father Dave. He's um, a legend. <laughs> so he drove me, my friend Neve, and Jenna to Van College because Jenna hadn't had dinner. And so, yeah, we went to this chicken diner place. And then we were kind of just driving around with Dave when we got back here. And then he drove us up to there's one building here because uh, where we are is the um, showgrounds in Cork. So they're like the horse showgrounds. Um, so there's only one building here. And it's like a big shed and it's where logistics is for the camp so we went up there to some of our friends and they had so much pizza like boxes and boxes of pizza from apache um and then we just helped out and we had to drop stuff around so there is eight different sub camps so for all you non-scouting people a sub camp is literally like what it means it's a sub camp so say there, there's six for the scouts so scouts are aged between 11 and 15 um, so there's six sub camps um, with scouts and then there's two other ones so two staff one is adult staff which is me and then one is venture staff so venture staff is 15 to 17 um, so yeah um, the sub camps needed food for this morning um, because the catering was only starting to, like now I have my lunch and um, so they needed breakfast so we gathered all their supplies we got their cornflakes and their milk and all that and everything that they would need from last night to like you know this evening um, so we gathered all their supplies and got into a jeep me Jenna and Eve our friend Rory and Kieran Gildy he's a big boy in the skating world um, so he drove us around our jeep and we dropped it off all around all the different subcamps and then we finished that and then we just kind of helped out with logistics until they didn't need us anymore. Yeah, so me, Neve and Jenna just sat outside the shed then for like an hour, an hour and a half just chatting and then around like half two in the morning we decided to go to bed so then the three of us walked back and yeah then I, I woke up, I set alarms to make sure that I was up at nine by the latest because it's very hard for me to wake up in the morning but Harry who's tent is there is that other orange one? around like nine o'clock I was literally waking up anyway because my last alarm was going off and I was like I need to go to the bathroom and then he was like are you awake want a breakfast roll and I was like mm -hmm. so I came out and just as I was getting out Neve arrived with her sister Maeve, who's a venture, and then Juliet, who's one of our ventures as well. Um, so it was really cute. The five of us all sat here, and we had breakfast together. And we sat here and like chatted for an hour. And Neve and Maeve told us about America because they were just at the World Scout Jamboree in um, West Virginia. But there was also like a post, a pre-camp in Washington D.C., and then a post-camp they went to Canada. 
they were at Niagara Falls and stuff like that. That looked really cool and they were telling us about that and me and Harry told them about our week with the scouts in London back in July and yeah. Then that was it until we had to go our separate ways and I got dressed and I had to go to a meeting then at 11. Um, a team meeting so I'm on camp craft so I'm marking I'll have to explain it because no offense to non-scouting people but y'all non scouting people won't understand it um. <laughs> chill for a bit and then we had a staff meeting at 12 over in the logistics building and then when that was done we were given our lunch and now I've come back and I have until 2 until I have to do another team meeting because then I have work from half 2 to half 4 so I'm just sitting here by myself <laughs> having lunch because any of my friends are working so I'm by myself vlogging this is my lunch. So we were given a salad box. It's an interesting mix of things that I don't really know what it is. But my, this is my spork. Scout things. Uh, we were given a roll, a packet of crisps, and then I've got my water bottle again. The scouts. Where is it? Hold on. Adventures begin here. And everything yeah. waiting for him to come up. Yeah. Yeah. Pass, yeah. you'll get a kick off this. Yeah. Talk about well, reason. Nice you too. Yeah. You too. Talk about ah, something else on the agenda. And so in third place in the uh, trophy will be presented by a Trinigan, Old Calda. <laughs> right, here we go. Third place. 70 and 20 and 30 at Waterford St. Paul. <laughs> Second place. That's first Dublin. It's for Bluebell. The winners of the Phoenix Challenge for 2019 goes to the third, fourth, sixth round, the Dolphin Challenge. Right, 
Well done, guys.